Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got a review for Harvest Days My Dream Farm, a new cosy farming sim with a twist. It's 3D, but is it any good? Well, a code was provided for this review, so I've done my time on the farm and I'm ready to report back with my findings. So sit back, grab yourself a nice big glass of farm fresh milk and I'll tell you all about it. I am a straight shooter. I see, I say. I'm proud of the fact I've never sugarcoated anything here on Pure Play TV, so I say this not to be a dick or to insult the developers, but to give you, the viewers, the best information I can, however I must. And so I say, Harvest Days is basically Stardew Valley in 3D. And that's fine. Is it a bit creatively lazy? Sure. But come on, every successful game gets its copycats, and Harvest Days is at least half decent and brings a few ideas of its own to the table, namely being set in a 3D world. Everything from the game's setting and gameplay loop is pulled straight from Stardew Valley's cosy 2D world and pulled into the third dimension with mixed results. On the one hand, I really like the 3D and it feels really nice to play. Character movement and the game camera are incredibly smooth, at least on PS5 where I played, and it runs perfectly fine. I can't say I ever noticed any big technical blips. One thing about Stardew Valley that always annoyed me was getting lost and having to constantly refer to the map, but by having the world in 3D it's much easier to look off over yonder and see what's there, and find what you want, whether it's a fellow neighbour's house, the recycling bins, you can collect rubbish for coin, and other important landmarks. I also really liked the inclusion of e-scooters, and I honestly laughed out loud when I first rode one. It's incredibly satisfying, and it feels like how an e-scooter should feel like in a video game, and it made me think, I bet GTA 6 has e-scooters. Alright, I'm deviating a bit here, but while I'm off the path, I might as well drop in a cheeky plug for the channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, take this little pause as an opportunity to tap the subscribe button and maybe give this video a like if you're enjoying it. Cheers, my dear. The general gameplay loop is as you would expect. You start off with your own farmhouse and land that has been neglected for too long. It's overgrown with what I originally thought was crops that needed to be harvested, but it was actually weeds, despite them being almost as big as my player character, who I designed myself, by the way. The game has a pretty in-depth character creator tool at the beginning if you really care, and I guess with the game being 3D, there is more reason to give a damn how your character looks, as you'll see them from all angles, and something that honestly tickled me far more than it should, this game has a dedicated dance button. Hold down triangle and your character will start getting jiggy with it. Why? Why not? Every game should have a dedicated dance button in my opinion and I will be deducting points for games that don't have it going forward. So yeah, you clear your bit of land, you prep your soil, you plant your seeds, you water your babies until they are ready to be cut down with a scythe and sold for a tasty profit. Use that money to improve your house, buy new gear, upgrades, seeds and so on and do some odd jobs for the neighbours for some side coin, get into town for some activities, rinse and repeat. And of course, it all sounds very familiar, and it is, but those few fresh ideas do help keep the developers out of court. You can buy vehicles and drive them. You can harvest your crops with big farm machinery, so it's inspired by Farming Simulator 2 in a fashion, but it leans more on the at-your-own-pace of Stardew Valley. However, getting to some of that content, the stuff that sets it apart, is not an easy task. Well, it is easy, you just need to make money, and if you continue the cycle of farming and helping your neighbours, you will eventually get there. It's just bloody time consuming, and I've not gotten there yet, and I don't think I will. Such is the grind. I like the game, but I don't think it's got the charm to hook me in, at least not in the same way that its peers have in the past. The novelty of the fun 3D world wears off fast once you realise how much there is to do, and it doesn't help that the game has some really slow, time-consuming animations for things that need to be done repeatedly, like planting a seed or getting rid of weeds. You would think that the shift to 3D would mean some allowances on the gameplay features that were restricted by the 2D games. To be able to water your crops while you walk through them for instance, or to swing your scythe across several patches and get your harvest. Instead, it's slow and restrictive, and it makes the chores, well, it makes them really feel like ball-aching, annoying chores. 
There's also the fact the world just feels a bit empty. It's lacking character. The town square, even when there's an event going on, is a bit depressing and reminds me of the slow death of the high street to the big box out of town stores and online retailers like Amazon who are actually parodied here as they've basically taken over the town. But despite having that bit of cultural ribbing, the game doesn't do much with it. It just feels a bit too basic, though part of the game is to actually help rebuild plots around the town. But even you as a player can't bring about the missing atmosphere that Stardew Valley nurtured in every frame of gameplay. Harvest Days does not cultivate, pun intended, that same feeling of community and being part of a bigger picture. The music is also wildly inconsistent, sometimes swooning in only to swoon out and leave you wandering around to the sound of birds. However, despite these harsh criticisms, on the most basic level, Harvest Days gets it all right and you can get stuck into this one and lose hours in an evening, no problem. Harvest Days, my dream farm wears its inspiration on its sleeve and then it waves a big old flag just to make sure you really get the intent. It's fun enough and it looks really nice with a simple low poly art style. It's just missing a few flourishes to make it feel complete. I still recommend it for all those who enjoy these kinds of games, but if you're after the more social story side, just know that it's not a big focus here, but you can ride an e-scooter. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. And that is the end of this review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, do us a solid and hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you ignored my previous call to action, you rude little piggy. Where did you grow up? On a farm? Well, you'll love the sound of the notification bell then, so hit that and you'll be notified whenever we've got new stuff for you to watch. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers my dears.